गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन साई राम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट मेंटल मैथ्स ओके चैप्टर सिक्स असाइनमेंट सिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे ऑफ डिवीजन चैप्टर नाउ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाय नाइन नाउ यर वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू हैव टू डू डिवाइड ओके सो यू विल से टेबल ऑफ नाइन इन टेबल ऑफ नाइन वेन यू गेट फोर्टी फाइव सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द आंसर सो यू विल से टेबल ऑफ नाइन नाइन वन जा नाइन नाइन टू जा एटीन नाइन थ्री जा ट्वेंटी सेवेन नाइन फोर जा थर्टी सिक्स नाइन फाइव जा फोर्टी फाइव सो वॉट इज युअर आंसर चिल्ड्रन इन टेबल ऑफ नाइन वेन यू गेट फोर्टी फाइव फाइजा ओके सो योर आंसर इज फाइव फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाय नाइन इज इक्वल टू वॉट फाइव ओके नाउ सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एटी डिवाइड बाय एट यर यू हैव टू से टेबल ऑफ एट राइट सो इन टेबल ऑफ एट वेन यू गेट एटी एट वन जा एट एट टू जा सिक्सटीन एट थ्री जा ट्वेंटी फोर एट फोर जा थर्टी टू एट फाइव जा फोर्टी एट सिक्स जा फोर्टी एट एट सेवन जा फिफ्टी सिक्स एट एट जा सिक्सटी फोर एट नाइन जा सेवेंटी टू एंड एट टेन जा इज हाउ मच एटी सो वॉट इज युअर आंसर चिल्ड्रन येस युअर आंसर इज टेन एट टेन जा Eighty. So eighty divided by eight is equal to what? Ten. Now third question you see. Thirty-six divided by four equal to dash. Here also, which table you will say? Table of four. In table of four, you have to find when you get thirty-six. So you will say table of four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four sixes are twenty-four. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Four nines are thirty-six. Okay. So in table of four, when you get thirty-six, yes, nines are. Your answer is nine. So thirty-six divided by four. Is equal to what nine. Now fourth question, six multiplied by seven is equal to forty two. That is, if you say table of six, six seven zero is what forty two. And if you divide forty two divide by seven, then what is your answer? That you have to find out. You have to see in table of seven when you get. Forty-two. So, what will be your answer? Yes, six. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. So, forty-two divided by seven equal to six. Now, next question. Fifth question. You will see sixty divided by three is equal to dash. <coughs> Now, what you are going to do? You have to. Divide and find table in table of three when you get sixty. So you can do orally also in table of three when you get six. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. So in table of three you get six twos are and you can take one zero from sixty. Okay. So what will be your answer? Your answer is twenty. So sixty divided by three. Is equal to twenty. So you can do orally also. Okay, you can take three twos are six, and you can take one zero from sixty. So you will get the answer, children. Okay. Now sixth question. Ninety is divided by ninety. Then the quotient is dash. I repeat the question. Ninety is divided by ninety. Then the quotient is dash. If you divide 
same number by same number. So what quotient you will get? Think and tell me. Yes, in table of 90, when you get 90, ones are. Like if you say 2, ones are 2. In table of 2, when you get 2, ones are. Same way in table of 90, you, when you get 90, ones are. So your answer is what? 1. That is 90 is divided by 90. Then the quotient is what? 1. Now seventh question. For every division we have dividend equal to divisor multiply by dash plus remainder. I repeat the question. Understand it. For every division facts we have dividend equal to divisor multiply by dash plus remainder. So what will come in dash? Divisor multiply by what? Yes, when you divide a number, when you divide a number, a dividend by divisor, what you get after dividing? Yes, you get quotient. So your answer is what? Quotient. For every division facts, we have dividend equal to divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder. Now, eighth question. When 45 is divided by 1, the quotient is dash. I repeat, when 45 is divided by 1, the quotient is dash. That is when you divide 45 by 1. What quotient you will get? Think and tell. Yes, the quotient is 45 only. Okay, when 45 is divided by 1, the quotient is same number that is 45. Now, ninth question C. If we divide 84 by 7, the quotient is 12. Is it true or false? I repeat the question. If we divide 84 by 7, the quotient is 12. Is it true or false? So, in table of 7, when you get 84, that you have to find out. Okay? Here it is given in table of 7, you get 84, 12, 7, 12 are 84. So, is it True or false? So, what is the answer? You all know table of 7, right? Your answer is what? True. Okay. Answer is what? True. Now, let us do next question. Tenth one. 600 divided by 6 equal to 200. Right or wrong? 600 divided by 6 is equal to 200. Right or wrong? So, if you divide 600 by 6, you get 200. Is it right or wrong? What will be your answer? Calculate and tell me. Yes, it is wrong. Okay. The correct answer is what? 100. It is not 200. So, what is your answer? It is wrong children. Okay. Now, 11th question. 99 divided by 11 is equal to 9. Is this, in this, the remainder is dash. I repeat the question. 99 divided by 11 is equal to 9. In this, the remainder is dash. If you divide 99 by 11, you get quotient how much? 9. So, what will be the remainder that you have to find out? So, what will be the remainder? 9, 11s are 99. So, what will be the remainder in this question? 
the remainder will be zero yes the remainder is what zero okay now we will do 12th question give to division fact for 8 multiply by 6 equal to 48 this i taught you also right give to division fact for 8 multiply by 6 equal to 48 now here i have given one multiplication okay you have to give two division fact for this multiplication so you know how to give it. Chalo, start what will be the answer yes so first division fact is 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 this is your one division fact okay 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 and second division fact will be yes this is right 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6 okay 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6 so for one multiplication you have given two division fact now 13th question if there are 12 rings and 3 stands how many rings will be put in each stand i repeat if there are 12 rings and 3 stands how many rings will be put in each stand here also what you will do 12 divided by 3 that is a table of 3 when you get 12 so what will be your answer in table of 3 when you get 12 fours are so your answer is four rings what is your answer children four rings now 14th question if 25 chocolates are divided equally between five children how many does each child get I repeat, if 25 chocolates are divided equally between 5 children, how many does each child get? Here also which operation you will do? Division. Okay. Number of children is 5. And how many chocolates are there? 25. So how you are going to divide? How many chocolate each child will get? So you will do 25 divided by 5 that is in table of 5 when you get 25 that you have to find out so it is you have to say table of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 so what will be your answer 5 chocolates how many chocolates will each child get the answer will be 5 chocolates. Now, 15th question. 150 divided by 5 is equal to 30. True or false? 150 divided by 5 is equal to 30. True or false? So, you have to divide and see. When you divide 150 by 5, you get answer 30. Is it true or false? Now, in table of 5, when you get 15, 3 is So, you can take 1 0 from 150. So, your answer will be 30. So, it is right answer. So, what will be your answer? True or false? It is true. What is your answer, children? True. Now, 16th question. 72. Divide by 8 is equal to 9. 72 is the dash. Now in this question, 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. So, 72 is the dash. What is 72 here in this question? Yes, 72 is the dividend. Okay, 72 is the dividend. 8 is the divisor and 9 is the quotient. Okay. 
So your answer is 72 divided by 8 equal to 9. So here 72 is the dividend. Thank you children.